All right, guys, <clears throat> quick little walkthrough of what I did. Mounted all the gauges. I got all of the gauges from Sim Projects. That's SYMprojects.com. They sell their own boards, their own gauges. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, no soldering needed. This is the Pro Gauge board. Don't mind the wiring mess. I'm not good with uh, low voltage, so got to clean it up a little bit more. But this is their Pro Gauge board. You'll see there is power, ground, and control wires plugged in on that end. It's all uh, screwed down connections. Uh, you can get a relay for this to have it controlled through the program. I actually have it wired through the back of my red switch. Uh, so my switch turns it on. That was a little, little complicated to figure out, but not complicated, but I've never done it before. So uh, this has a power and a USB-B plug. Again, that's the Pro Board, Pro Gauge Board. Very easy, no soldering. Here's the website, simprojects.com. Fantastic board, and they were fantastic. Uh, customer support. The, the gentleman helped me uh, wire it up in multiple ways. So I know it looks like a wiring mess. I'll probably clean it up a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys. Again, off these gauges. There is a, so these three hook to direct power. There's different ways to wire it up, but those are the, the power controls. Then we got a ground and the green is our control wire. So it's pretty, pretty basic. I have all the powers tied into each other, all the grounds tied into each other, and then the control wires set up there. Uh, this is the program. It's actually pretty, pretty easy to work with. RPM, speed, gauge, tests, there's all tests, all different ways to uh, set your your percentages up. Uh, I have not yet hooked it up to the rig yet. I'm about to do that, so stay tuned.